because they deserve a DA that won't have sex with his employees. <laughs> that was a good one. Did you go to a cabin with Miss Willis ever? Ever? Ever. Wow, that guy right there is the top prosecutor against Donald Trump, the boyfriend of Fulton County anti-Trump DA Fannie Willis, and a bad liar, which definitely isn't good for Fannie Willis, whose case against Trump now looks to be predictably wrapped in corruption. In a nuclear holocaust of irony, Willis has been desperately trying to slither out of this mess that she created, but the attorney for Michael Roman, the guy trying to take Fannie down, has made it clear that she has everything she needs to seal the deal. And if you want me to proffer what I anticipate she's gonna say, I talked to her last night. She's going to say that there was a personal relationship that began in October of 2019. She's going to testify to that. And she has personal direct knowledge of that. It's not hearsay and it's not privilege. She's gonna take the stand. She's terrified, but she's gonna take the stand and tell the truth. And then I plan on calling Mr. Wade because at that point I can overcome their motion to quash and bring Mr. Wade, bring him to come. Then I can go through privilege issues with him, and then I can have Mr. Bradley testify. And we won't have to have an objection to every single question I ask Mr. Bradley. An objection to hearsay, an objection to privilege. So that's how I plan on presenting the evidence, because it makes the most sense. And I think I'll be able to overcome any privilege objections. But we can talk about that when Mr. Wade takes a seat. Damn! This is totally unreal. So Fanny is trying to get this case totally thrown out, but that went down in flames. And that a romantic relationship with Nathan Wayne started in 2019. This contradicts the filings of Wade and Willis that the relationship began in 2022. In other words, she gave false statements to the court. Dead baby, dead baby. The witness also testified that there was quote, no doubt that the two were in a romantic relationship and had observed them kissing and hugging going back as far as 2019. You slammed her, you ducked her donut, you gave her dog a sausage. You stuffed her like a Thanksgiving turkey! Then today, her boyfriend, Nathan Wade, takes the stand, and it does not go well for him. So in 2023, December, you said you didn't have any receipts. I do not have any receipts. I did not have any receipts. But you did travel with Miss Willis in 2023, correct? I did. And you traveled with her in 2022, correct? I did. And you traveled with her in 2021, correct? No. So you only traveled with her in 2022 and 2023? 2022 and 2023 is what I recall. That Liar! That's what you recall? Yes. Okay. Um, so you just don't remember if you traveled with her in 2021? 2022 and 2023 is what I recall. Is what you recall. My question is, did you travel with her in 2021? I'm not recalling any travel in 2021. So it's not yes or no, you just don't remember? I'm not recalling any travel in 2021. <laughs> Liar! I'm asking if you remember paying for a cabin six months ago in Tennessee. No. You remember booking a cabin? I booked lots of cabins. <laughs> you serious? Did you go to a cabin with Miss Willis ever? Ever. Ever. This guy is just so bad at this. Maybe don't contort your face in these comedic, overexpressive signs that you're lying your ass off. That brings us to MSNBC, who do something that none of us would expect because Fanny has left no mysteries at this point. It's so legalistic centric and yet so important and fascinating. Right, don't let the legalese fool you. This is epic, this is monumental. If things are going in the direction we think, uh, Fonnie Willis 
lied to the court, it's game over for her. She will be disqualified. Um, if they had a relationship prior to when they uh, represented to, to the court, it's, it's a huge deal. I, I can't overstate it. It's over. We are screwed. This is pretty huge when MSNBC is admitting that the prosecutor that's going after Trump right now lied to the courts. The fact that this case is even being allowed to continue at this point shows just how corrupt the justice system has become. It's a two-tiered partisan system that's been turned into a weapon against the opponents of Democrats. What do you all think? Am I insane or should this case get thrown out? Let me know in the comments and then join us in Discord for a debate. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. If you're still here, might as well hit that like button and make sure to keep checking back for more. See you on the next one.